I don't I don't get it. What is this place? Oh, she's done with this. Strain during the night. Eh, that's fine. Uh aura time. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't quite get. Where that's supposed to be. CCM comes fast. I'm off to bed. Thanks for the great hang, and I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Thank you so much, Father. You are awesome. Thank you for being here tonight, and uh, have a great night. Hopefully not too taxing with the kids and everything, and then uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be, I'll be live tomorrow at 7 p.m. again. Uh, Eastern time, and uh, it, it will be uh, Bread of the Wild tomorrow. <laughs> Sleep well. We'll be kind of uh, probably dying horribly in Bread of the Wild. There's no blue items? Oh, no, there they are. Okay. I was like, how is that even possible? I'm hoping it's not a case of like they spawn in very specific locations. I'm hoping they just spawn randomly. That would be the best. Oh. Hold on. This location is called Agni's Tablet. Yeah. Hey, Yuki. Oh, my God. How are you up at this hour? Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Hey. Hey. Heading to bed, but thought I'd stop by. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, Ruthie! How are you doing? You know, TwitchCon in EU next time is going to be in France. Oh, really? Cool. Dude, I love Paris. If I've got me up way late. I mean, at this, at this hour, it's not even late. It's early for the next day. That's what it is. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I can have her in my party. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, is, is there going to be a little bit of romance? Something bothering you, Melia. Forgive me, Shulk. I'm not myself today. What's wrong? It happened before I met you. In this spot, my four protectors laid down their lives for me. Oh, true. Was it when you fought the Telethia? Yes, until that day, the four of them accompanied me everywhere. They were true friends to me. I grieve for them deeply. Oh, that's too bad. Getting back into tanking. Awesome. What, what dungeon did, did you do? Um, They sound like great people. They were indeed. What are these choices? One of them is super rude. The other one is like super friendly. I, I spent the bulk of my life hiding hidden away in the Imperial Villa. They took care of me for all that time. Yeah, it must have been close. It's not to lose people like that. Shulk, will you help me? I want to give them a proper sending off. Sure. Of course, we'll do it together, you and me. Thank you. My fallen brethren, I promise to live my life to the fullest. Look over me as I journey on. Ah. Well, that's touching. I bring it to, due to me being in first place in Mario Kart on my dad's stream. What? Because it glitched and kicked me out, but I'm... Oh my god, are you kidding me? You were you ended up being first and it kicked you out? Oh, that's so rude. I'm doing good, Ruthie. I, I am. I would love to play Mario Kart with, your, with you and your dad. I would love to. I love Mario Kart. And I don't know any of the new tracks. I only played like the base uh, Mario Kart 8. So like anything that's like that's that came with the deluxe and like all the DLCs and stuff, I never played. I really enjoyed Paris. How did you find the French compared to how you speak French? 
Um, it's 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 a bit different. Um, the the most like it, I can understand very easily what they're saying. It's not like that different. But the thing is, um, they don't they they tend to kind of fake not understanding what I'm saying. That happened to me a few times. They like they kind of like make it seem like I am not. They, they can't understand a word I'm saying, even though they clearly can, just because I have a different accent and it annoys them that I do. Uh, but overall, like it was, it was super fun. Actually, uh, really, really enjoyed my time there. I I was there for like three weeks, and uh, it was super fun. I didn't spend the entire three weeks in Paris, mind you. Like I've been to other towns and stuff, and, and I visited castles. And but it was it was a fun time. The food is incredible. Um, like all the the museums and the castles and stuff was super cool to see as well. It was nice. Hey, Zelda, I appreciate the lurk. Thank you so much. I love your face, Zelda. My Sam is level 90, so sword and shield it is. You reached level 90, Yuki? Are you done with the story of Endwalker? Or are you still kind of going through it slowly? <laughs> My, you don't own me. I love that. It's amazing. You oh no! Ah! Uh, we're good. This water, we're good. Oh, thank God. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to fall down. Oops. And hydrate. You tell me that now. Now that I'm, I'm in the water. <laughs> No, you're the best, Zelda. You are. A little too soon. Exactly. Too soon. I'm two blocks away. I got Montoya's dungeon to do, but my PLD gear is 425. Needs to be 470. Uh, wait, you two, what do you mean you're two blocks away? You're two, like, patch thingies away from Endwalker? Because, like, Montoya's dungeon is before Endwalker. Where's my wings? Good question, right? Where's my glider from Bread of the Wild? Is is the real question? Where's that? Yeah, it's post it's post Shadow Bringers. Yeah, exactly. It's post Shadow Bringers, but before Endwalker. Yeah. Um. Okay, I need to see if if I got any. Maybe by mistake, and I just didn't realize. Nope. No, we haven't found any. A lemonade Sky. Like, where am I gonna find that? It's obviously here, but like, it, my question is, is it random or like, does it spawn in specific locations? Some items spawn in very, very specific locations. So it's kind of annoying. Or like they have higher chances of spawning in specific locations. You know what? I'm not even going to try to go through that. We're talking about uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, it's an MMO, uh, but like in in a in a Final Fantasy setting, it's really fun. I basically got uh, Yuki into it with like a, another streamer of mine. Like we kind of convinced her to check it out, and then she checked it out, and then. Uh, she can't stop playing now. She she plays more than me. I need to check it out. <laughs> it's amazing. Been playing it for over a year now. Yes, you're you're playing more than me. Like I I completely kind of fell off because there are other like there's too many single player games I want to play, and if I spend all my time in FF14, I just will have zero time to play anything else. But it's it's probably my favorite game of all time by by now. Like it's I never I never cried that hard. Like there there are, there are moments in that game that like I can watch somebody else go through it 
like just another streamer, for example, going through the same part and they will still make me cry. It's not even, I'm not even playing and I know what's happening because I've, I've seen it and it still makes me cry. It's true right now, yeah. Just got thinking alliance raids, the labyrinth one. Oh, really, dude? Yeah, those are those are kind of weird though, because like whenever you're thinking like uh, the alliance raids, uh, especially like the, the the very very early ones from like the um, the crystal towers, uh, especially the first one, the labyrinth. Uh, it it feels weird because there's too many tanks. It feels like almost like because the, the fights are so easy. Like, it kind of ends up being, if you're not the main tank, you're kind of useless. Oh, I got a gravel disc. It's better than nothing. Oh, come on. I would play more FF14 too, if it was not a monthly sub. The cool thing, though, uh, if you ever want to try it, Sam, is... There is a uh, there's a free trial and typically like in MMOs like World of Warcraft, for example, the free trial is extremely limiting and it will limit you to the first like 20 level or something and which you get extremely fast and then you again and then you're kind of stuck. You can't go on unless you pay. FF14 will allow you to get to level 60, which is a good chunk of time and you get the full base game, which is like a super long story, and you get the first expansion story as well with all dungeons, raids, classes, like all everything that, that was included in those for free. You get all of that for free, and then by the end of that, if you feel like you wanna keep going and you wanna pay, then you can pay and get like the other expansions and the monthly subscriptions, all of that stuff. Hey, Willie, you're new. Oh my God, for real. I did not know that. Well, welcome, Willy. <laughs> welcome. And um, yeah, if you don't know me, my name is Shino7. I stream a bunch of different games. Mostly JRPGs these days. Having a lot of fun in them. And right now we're going through uh, Xenoblade. And tonight I wanted to do a bit of story in a lot of repairing colony six and apparently all we did was colony six because it's taken forever to get the items i need and i'm about to give up on lemonade sky i need to know where that drops because it's driving me crazy lemonade sky by the way i'm obviously kidding i know you are willy <laughs> um Magnif yeah but like what does that drop though is it just random Uh, area surrounding the windmill pavilion. Huh? Nothing is named windmill pavilion. Are you drunk? Land area east of Precipice Bridge. East of here. So this way? Or maybe like towards this? Hmm, not sure. You have two healers level 80? Oh my god. It's downloading now, Sam. Oh my lord. You're gonna have so much fun. Even Willy plays uh FF14. Not the regular though, mind you, because like me is extremely busy with other stuff, but Kiva Nee plays. Yes, yeah, if you go to uh, the Primal Data Center, that's where I'm also located. I'm not on Lamia, I'm on, on a different server. But the cool thing is they, they have connected all the servers together that are part of like server clusters. So you can play together easily. 
And now, since like the last patch or something, you can even travel from like one data center to another. So you can you can visit people and play with them, even if they're like in a different server cluster, including a different like uh, geographical location. So you could you could like I could log in right now and like travel for free in game to a copy of my server that is set like in Europe, for example, and I could play with other people from Europe. Without having to worry about it too much. There are some limiting stuff. Like obviously because it's not your server. So you're limited in certain things. Or in certain ways. But still. Which we need to get back and uh, back and play Outriders more. Yeah you're right. We need to. It's um... There's too many games, Willie. That's the problem. And the worst part is like in a few weeks, uh, Dark Tide is coming out. And you just know we're going to have to do Dark Tide. Bro, I'm not finding Lemonade Sky. The game is trolling me. Like, why is this so hard to find? All my classes are getting up there. There's nothing below 65. Oh my God, for real? You're way ahead of me. I have a lot of classes that are not even close to that. Jesus. FF14 is literally my life now. Can't stop it. It's all Shino's fault. Well, I mean, uh, you're welcome. I almost got eaten by this giant dinosaur, apparently. Which is not something you want. Typically. Sometimes, yes. It said east of here. How east is like nothing. So my my oh unless it unless unless this counts as like being east because this is precipice bridge like this kind of chunk of land here between the two holes that's the bridge. So east of the bridge could technically be like northeast or like southeast I guess. But I went there and it wasn't it didn't drop. So let's go here and like try again. What about light light tide? Oh my god! Dark tide is the uh, is the war armor forty k uh, game where you can play with friends and you just like uh, defeat like waves of enemies and complete objectives and stuff. It's like a first person shooter ish, but it's mostly it's but it's against uh, monsters. Set in war armor forty k. It's releasing in a couple of weeks, and uh, I did want to play that. We're probably going to play... Like, I'm probably going to get it through Game Pass. That way I don't have to spend, like, an like a an arm and a leg to get it. But, uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It looks super good. You, you got it on pre-order? That's awesome. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to play Dark Tide. I mean, unless we find time between now and then to play uh, Outriders... Realistically, there's more chances, especially with your how you're busy you are and how busy I am. It's probably more realistic to think that we're going to be and end up playing Dark Tide first before we get back into Outriders. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember my Dark Knight what level it is. I'm pretty sure my Dark Knight is. I want to say it's probably level eighty. I'm not sure. It's probably 80. Okay, I'm not finding Lemonade Skies, guys. I just... I don't, I don't understand why I'm not finding it. I'm just not finding it.
I almost want to find like um a video online with somebody that's like it's here and they just point to it on the map and I'm like okay that I almost won that because I just can't figure out where it is and the worst part is that even if I find it I need three of them oh 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 we just found one oh my oh my god please please be more please be more right there Please. No. Oh, another one. Oh my, oh my God. We found them guys. I am going to lose my mind. Hey, we have all of them. Oh my God. We did it. Oh my God. I just, I can't believe it. Level 70 dark uh, night class quest at me in tears? Really? Then I'm probably not level... I'm probably not that level then. I'm probably, I'm probably level 70 then or something. Because I don't think... I might be behind the story quest too. I might have leveled up like through dungeons and stuff and just like didn't do the story quest or whatever. I'm not sure actually. All right. But I feel like I would... That's weird. I feel like I would have done the story quest. I don't know. There we go. Housing. Boom. The fruit of our art work, guys. Here it is. Look at that. We made this. We built this. Hate new houses. Eight. Great. 